Hello my sunflowers and welcome back to my channel. It's January 2021. We made it. 2020 is over. So today I'm here to talk about the bookish goals I have reached or not reached from 2020 and about the bookish goals I want to reach in 2021. Let's get into it. If you're interested what my goals were, actually look up my video about the bookish goals from 2020. It was quite simple. The first goal was read 100 books. Yeah, I did that. I read 173 books in 2020. I had a lot of time, uh, quarantine happened, I was stuck at home, so I read a lot of books. The second goal was doing booktube. I did that kinda because I had a break after quarantine started. My brain just went, nope, we are just going to do escapism and read a lot of YA fantasy and not do booktube. Yeah, but overall I came back to it and I have released a lot of videos this year. I hope I am increasing in quality and entertainment because I feel like I am getting more confident doing my videos. So I hope you enjoy that and you will stick with me for the next year, two, five, we will see, yeah. Then another goal was to reread The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings because I got this for Christmas in 2019. I reread The Hobbit! But I didn't reread Lord of the Rings. I will do it this year. Spoilers for the book. Bookish goals for 2021. But yeah, I didn't do it. I wasn't in a mood for it. I don't know why. But I read the entire Throne of Glass. Heptology. <laughs> so yeah, mm -hmm. priorities. I wanted to reread the Record of a Space Born Few by Becky Chambers. And I didn't do it. Because I wasn't in the mood for it. I had a lot of great books around to read. So I didn't. And one of my biggest goals was to read the Foundation Trilogy by Isaac Asimov. I did that. I did that. The chunk is done. So I have read this. I have made a full review on it. Check it out if you're interested in classic sci-fi. It gets like an overall 4 out of 5 stars from me, but it has some issues. So <laughs> check it out there. And another goal was to dive into Japanese literature. I did that. I did a readathon for Japanese literature. And I have already ordered more books and I am really looking into Haruki Murakami and maybe I will get to his books this year or next year, we will see. Because I loved it. I love so many Japanese books. The culture, the way the stories are told, it's beautiful. So yeah, I have reached that goal. And the seventh goal was to read The Expanse. I did that, but I stopped. So I have read six books from the eight that are out right now. And I could have pushed for the last two to read them as well in 2020, but I stopped myself because after the sixth book, there is a time jump and the last three books are going to be like a trilogy on their own. And that's why I thought, okay, it doesn't make sense to continue now because I wouldn't have the last book of that trilogy. So I'm going to finish this series with the last book in 2021. But if you have not read The Expand, please do. This is perfect. I love it so flipping much. I cannot explain that. That's the space opera about humanity we need, we deserve. It's perfect. I, yeah, please read this. Yeah. And the last, like, kindish goal was to dive into historical fiction because I suspected that I don't like it. And actually, I have read some books that are going into historical things and I kind of enjoyed them, but it is very specific and that it is connected to time travel. 
I am talking about The Future of Another Timeline by Annalie Hewitt. And that one is really diving into the like the different eras and has a heavy focus on the punk scene in the 90s. And mm, immaculate, that book got five out of five stars for me. It's so good. So I kind of did that, but I didn't go like full on historical stuff. So maybe I will put it on my goals in some other year, but right now I'm still feeling like meh. Maybe someday, but it is not really the genre I am in love with. So that's the wrap up of 2020. Now, you have seen I have reached most goals, but some of them I didn't. So now let's get into 2021, what I want to do this year. So the first goal is very simple. I want to read the 100 books again. I am not upping up that goal for a reason, because I suspect that this year I will be starting other projects, uh, a business project, a writing project I have already started on. So I suspect to not read 173 books for like last year. I hope that I will get motivated to work on these projects as well. And I still think I will need a lot of books to escape and relax. So I still leave it at 100. So let's see at the end of the year if I reach that goal. Second of all, still sticking with the old favorites, doing booktube. I don't want to give up on this. I have 31 followers on here. It is so cute. I love you all. Thank you so much for following me. I know some of them are like people who know me in real life and are, are my sister. I see you. But you are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me. Every comment motivates me to do more videos. And I love doing booktube because I love talking about books. I will be experimenting with formats this year. I will see if I want to do dedicated reviews more. I don't feel like I'm going to do much of wrap ups because I didn't enjoy doing them at the beginning of year. And these are partially why I stopped doing booktube in March. <laughs> so we will see what I will do. So a big thing I want to do this year is focus on series. I am going to start series like I just ordered Jade City by Fonda Lee. Yeah, I want to read that. Thank you. And I have a lot of series I want to finish. The Expanse, for example. The last book, uh, how, how is it called? Leviathan Dies? Something like that. Um, is the last book and is coming out in autumn this year. So I will be finishing this series this year and I cannot wait for it. Yay! I will be also continuing with this series. The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter, in the hope that there will be more dragons in the next book. Books. But we'll see. This book came out of nowhere. I didn't expect to love it. And while reading it, I, did, I didn't completely love it, but it stuck with me. This is, this is like in my brain. And I must concede and say, even though I am not one for revenge plots, this book is a masterpiece. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, I will be continuing with this one. I will also be continuing with this one from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is book talk influence. Spoilers for the next video, by the way. So this is a romance spicy fantasy. And I flew through the first two books and the third book in this series is coming out in April and I cannot wait for it. Let's get into this two series of Sarah J Maas I want to continue this year. First up is Crescent City or House of Earth and Blood uh, and the second book is supposed to come out this year as well. So I cannot wait for the second book. This was so good. Yeah. This was the first Sarah J Maas thing I read last year. And since then I have read the entire Echo Tower series. So I will also be reading a uh, court of silver flames and watch that train wreck happen to the booktube community, because this is going to be more fun entertainment. That is so going to be disastrous. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will be continuing this one. 
as well. I am looking forward to it. I think her books are lacking diversity, but they are still so fun to read. Okay, this is the like the epitome of my escapism thing. I just want something that pulls me in, makes me cry, makes me laugh, and makes me ship things for a few days. Okay, yeah. Another series I want to continue is the Red Rising books. And I have read the first three and I have already Iron Gold and Dark Age on my shelves. And the last book is coming out this year as well. So the second part of this six book series I will be reading this year and this is gonna destroy me. I know that because this, this series is just pure drama. It's Game of Thrones in space. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> amazing. I love it. The fifth goal I want to focus on in 2021 is to savor my books. Sometimes when you are reading the books for the first time, you want to know what happens, what will happen in the next chapters, and you fly through them. I do, a lot. And in the end, I know what happened, I cried, I loved it, but I didn't savor the journey. So I am going to try stepping on the brakes while reading sometimes, trying to enjoy it because they deserve it. The books deserve my attention, okay? So yeah, that's one of the goals. Sixth goal is focusing on diversity, especially LGBT diversity, but also ethnical diversity. I would love to read from different countries, different people, more black authors, more Latinx authors, more Asian authors. I just want to broaden my horizon. So if you have any recommendations for that, please do, please leave it in the comments. I would love that. I have looked into the diversity of my shelves last year because of the whole discussion that, that was going on Book Talk, and it is not like straight white. <laughs> <laughs> on there but there is still a lot of room for improvement and I have already added a lot of great books to my bookshelves that are in these like diverse categories and I am just looking forward to add more these books need our support they are important to everybody in our communities so I will love to read more of those and another goal is I want this year to reread more books. Specifically, I want to reread at least 10 books. I have three right here. And I would love to reread those soon. Also, I am planning on rereading Aragon by Christopher Paolini because I am planning a small readathon around dragons. Because I love dragons. I have bought so many dragon books for this and I cannot wait to reread this series. This was my favorite in my childhood and I I just want to dive back into it and maybe critique it a bit because I am an adult now. I am turning 28 next week. Do I look like 28? Please say no. <laughs> yeah, so um, that would be interesting. I'm looking forward to that video and to this series because the inheritance cycle is beautiful and Christopher Paulini is a gift. And another goal which would be kind of interesting is diving into adult fantasy and YA sci-fi, which is probably not that hard to do. I have already, already ordered some like books in the adult fantasy thing this is not gonna to be too hard but the YA sci-fi I am not sure I'm going to love that because many YA sci-fi either I love them or I hate them so this is gonna be an interesting one <laughs> and the eighth goal which is kind of in the brackets would be I want to work on my book on my novel I already mentioned that in the first uh, goal of reading 100 books. This is something that is quite important to me. There are so many ideas in my head. I have already written the first chapter like three times and I just feel that this, this needs some time and some investment. 
to actually become the first draft of a novel. Will I ever publish it? Don't know, maybe. And um, yeah, this is the goal to work on that. So thank you for much, uh, so much. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I am looking forward to this year. There are so many great books coming out this year and it's gonna be so great. I'm optimistic for this year. So I hope you are as well. And you have some lovely first months of the year and are going to have a successful year in your goals whether they are bookish or not and in i will be back with a lot of videos so please in the meantime subscribe leave in your comments what you want to see from me and uh, book recommendations i should read if it's gay and has dragons please <laughs> <laughs> the Priory of the Orange Tree is already one of my favorites, so... <laughs> yeah. um, thank you for joining me. See you next time. Bye!